Alright guys, welcome back to more playing with the best game I ever played. Now we're uh, down on a giant pit, and I really hope I don't have to redo the fall. You know. I also feel like they should have named this chapter The Moron instead of The Fall. That would have been funnier. Oh! <laughs> Something about that as a storyline is very interesting to Anyway, now I have a Google Purple gun. Anyway, uh, this next part of the game is kind of boring, but, like, also kind of awesome. The next part will be our finale. Oh, oh shit. All right, guys, hold on. <laughs> yes, there's background noise that I can't filter out now, and that's fine with me. Huh. Is there a way up there without a portal? Yes, there is. Because for some reason, to me, this part is really difficult. Oh, there it is. Anyway, for some reason I always fail this part, even though it's really easy. Oh boy, look at that, the giant monster is opening. I love this part of the game, though. God, this game is big and beautiful and everything. But yeah. 
My mom took me to IHOP, um, so I was gone for like five hours, or no, not five hours. I was gone for some big amount of time, and then my dad and his friend are making music in the background, so it might be a little bit of background noise, but that's fine. I'm gonna keep talking to him minimum because I'm sick, as you can hear. Uh, very sick from what we found. Aperture Science. Welcome, gentlemen, to Aperture Science. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. Oh, yeah. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, Ooh, my sister. I went through the aperture already. Sure your honorary to the charitable organization of your uh, choice and spheres. Isn't that right, Carol? I personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have oh. and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test I love assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. It looks like Dream. Or Dream looks like him. Because he is the main character. Screw Dream. He is the main guy. It is more important than Dream looks like him than he looks like Dream. But yeah, that guy is a uh, the foreman of this place or whatever. Nah, this is like a really great moment in the game though. Like hearing the Cave Johnson. Oh, by the way, that's the news guy. Uh. uh J. Jonah Jameson. That's J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah. yeah. I should, like, look more into the Aperture Science lore. Apparently this is Michigan, but... There's an Aperture, Aperture Science facility in Ohio, or, like... There was a spin-off game or something. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff about Aperture Science, but yeah, that's how we progress. I fucking love the sound that it makes when you just... <sighs> Alright, I have to keep that in a moment. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Why not any hand-holding, though? Alright, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. The 
lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Johnson, sir. Oh, almost went the wrong way. I hate when I do that. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you set up a holy chair what? lobby and work wearing lead underpants, we took the care of that. What caused that? No, I'm confused. Why did that first cube just get evaporated? I need to see something. That was weird. Why didn't it show up the first time? Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Oh, how would you know that, Mr. Johnson, sir? Whatever. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. Ha! I like your style. You make a couple wow. rules, just like me. Bean counters that I couldn't fire, man, just for being in a wheelchair. Get it anyway. Ramps are expensive. My guy is fucking ableist. Yes. scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Wow. Dude, how many people have died at Aperture? I'm genuinely curious. Like, not just scientists because of Gladys, but like, homeless people, because that's apparently who a lot of the test subjects were. 
Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time, entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Man. Sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your mm. grip. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Oh. There we go. I like how it makes basketball sounds. Basketball Jones. fucking game. Ooh, Aperture Science Innovators. An old logo. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Think about it, girl. She is a gem. this game so much. This is 
is where all of their old equipment was. I don't know if I'm gonna get jumpsuits or not. So yeah. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO, CEO of Aperture Science. Science. You Hello. I do. Oh. That's what I do. So apparently she's like very low on power and can't really think much. The reunion. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Uh-oh. Scary story, mystery. We need a lot of power for this one. This one too. Even when crouch walking it still affects me. So we have to do this first. Oh, 
shit. Now to redo the entire freaking level again. A difficult section, so I'm quick saving. Great job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take the world. This on. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Me too. Kate Johnson. All right, music is being paid, so. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, and then put you back together. Good as new. So we do this first. And then this. Hell yeah. So we do this. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. Wow. I know he's lying. Apple true. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. 
for staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing. You've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? The fuck? Beard dirt? Wrong way. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or... Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself Wait a for a minute. Moment? I need to think. Well, she, she's now kind of fine with me. I mean, even though I killed her twice, it couldn't kill her. Yeah, whatever. I think I go the right way. Ooh, some white gel. So this is repulsion gel, this is conversion gel, and I don't know what the orange one's called. It's dead. It well, I don't think God, so, but I don't know. Right, Here goes the most difficult fucking part of this level, or the most nerve-wracking that I always think I'm gonna die on, but I never have failed at. So yeah. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. It's kind of <clears throat> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <clears throat> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. The bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, I'm not leader. Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills.
Damn, Sid, Cave Johnson is now, like, very sick. Sicker than me. Well, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Rocks of pure poison. Gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Make life. Take the lemons back. Get mad. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day it thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna <laughs> I love burn this your house down with the lemon. I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> Point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence, we should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm gonna say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> Hell, put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm still trying to figure this out. Like... is so difficult what do I do just 
So yeah, the, those were some interesting reactions that GLaDOS said. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god, why do I keep failing to do this part? Finally, I got past it. I don't know what the intended solution was, or maybe that was the intended solution, but something about how difficult it is tells me it wasn't. Now me and GLaDOS have made a friends. So that's good. Gel flow.
well, that wasn't how you're supposed to do it, but I mean, I did, so... Yeah. Can I not do that though? Like... Oh, there we go. That's better. I do it here. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. I figured it out. It's supposed to be going all over the place throughout the vent shaft. I kinda wish it did that, like, sound. Anyway, we'll just get past this, um, this section first, and then we'll, uh, finish the video.
Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys, see y'all.